Hello everyone. In this video, we will see day 3 of our 15 days timetable. The important points will be covered in this video. So, day 3 of the timetable contains the following topics. Epidemiology carries activity tests and fluorides from public health industry. Endocrinology, hematology and uh, GI liver topic from physiology. So, under epidemiology, uh, you have to cover the MCQs from uh, these important points. The points include rate ratio proportion, uh, cross sectional studies and case control studies, what is the difference between both, uh, cohort studies and what is the definition for an epidemic, endemic and pandemic and what is the difference between them, uh, what is an odds ratio, the different types of bias and blinding, the levels of prevention. Uh, levels of prevention, uh, there are primary, secondary and tertiary levels of prevention. Separate tables will be there for uh, dental caries, uh, periodontal ligament issues, oral cancer as well as orthodontic management. You can uh, find these tables under the preventive dentistry chapter. But when you are studying epidemiology also try to cover this topic and when you are doing fluorides again do a brush up of this because levels of prevention is a very important point. Then about uh, incidence and prevalence, the formula for calculation of incidence prevalence, uh, positive predictive value, negative predictive value, the formula for it and uh, the phases of clinical trial. Next topic is caries activity test. Under caries activity test, you have to know uh, what is the Snyder's test, uh, the dye used for it, a salivary reductase test. Again, for all the tests, the dye used in different tests and what a particular color of a dye indicates what that is very important for caries activity test. Next topic is fluoride. Under fluoride, you have to know the value for certainly lethal dose and safely tolerated dose. Uh, the sodium fluoride, strontium fluoride and uh, APF gel, the composition of each, what is choking of effect, the fluoride uh, levels in body and different effects when the levels increases, when it leads to dental fluorosis, when it leads to skeletal fluorosis, it is very important and uh, what is Nalgonda technique and what is Nansen technique, uh, the different generation of sealants, uh, then the management of fluoride toxicity, the different types of disclosing agent and the levels of prevention as I mentioned earlier. The next topic is endocrinology. So under endocrinology you should know the names of all the pituitary hormones both anterior and posterior pituitary hormones. Uh, what is tetany? The calcium homeostasis is very very important. Then little bit on diabetes and anti-diabetic drug. Uh, then uh, calcitonin parathormone when you are reading the calcium homeostasis itself you will be covering the calcitonin parathormone. Then about the adrenal glands and hormone, both the adrenal cortex hormone and adrenal medullar hormones, the names and the function of adrenal cortex hormones are important. Uh, what is aldosterone and what is aldosterone mechanism? What is Cushing syndrome? And the islets uh, of Langerhans and the uh, cells and secretion. When you are studying diabetes, you can cover the pancreatic cell secretion. The next topic is hematology. So, under hematology, you have to cover erythropoiesis, the normal ranges of blood cells of both RPC, WBC and platelets, uh, the diseases of blood, uh, you have to cover almost all the diseases of blood because hematology is a very important topic under which you have to brush up about uh, different types of anemia, uh, leukemia types, bleeding and clotting disorders, you have to know all the clotting factors, what are the vitamin K dependent clotting factors, the uh, clotting pathway, the coagulation cascade, different anticoagulants used, what are the blood groupings and what is methemoglobin. The last topic is gastrointestinal tract. So under gastrointestinal tract from physiology it is very very little, only the gastric uh, different types of gastric glands and what are the secretions from each cells present in the gastric gland, what is Pavlo pouch, uh, bile composition, what is a bile salt. Uh, jaundice and the cause of jaundice, types and features of jaundice. So jaundice, try to read a little bit of them in physiology and you can cover the remaining portion when you are studying under general medicine as well. So make sure this hematology, gastrointestinal tract and endocrinology, study little bit of them during physiology preparation and the remaining you can take over when you are studying again for general medicine point of view. Thank you all.